Hey guys, it's Cesar here. I just thought I'd give you a few tips if you're thinking about applying for a job on a cruise ship as an entertainment host. Okay, I can only basically go on my personal experience, but I hope that it will help you along the way if you're thinking about it or you're actually going to do it, okay? And the best of luck if you are. Okay, so my audition was with a company called Peel Talent. Um, I'd never done a presenting audition before. Um, normally on the dancing side, but never on presenting, So, and it's my first ever cruise ship audition, so that's quite daunting. Uh, and I had to travel all the way up to Yorkshire, so that was quite pleasant, six and a half hours, but no, it's okay. So, first things first, when you find out that you've got the audition, you normally then get a letter through saying what you need to do to prepare yourself for the audition. So what we had to do is we had to make up our own game show and we had to have a presentation for five minutes. So yeah, I went out with a suitcase full of props. Um, if anyone went for my suitcase, they would think I was a bit weird. But anyway, so upon arrival, you go in there and you get your sticker and then you re uh, register so you signed up and then you basically get to talk to the people that are around you and then what we had to do for our first task was we had to get into pairs and then we had to introduce each other in a host style sort of presentation way um, they gave you like five minutes to do that so that was the first round just like a little warm up so you get to know each other and then the second part I believe was yeah we did our own game shows so that's quite fun because we all got to partake in each other's games it's quite funny and it's quite interesting to see what people come up with with such weird props um, it was really good fun um, it took quite a long time because there was a lot of us so yeah that was quite good um, then after that we what did we do we then had to do a read out a quiz out loud and it had like tricky words so what they do is they like judge you on your pronunciation and how clearly you present it and how open you are to everyone around so basically you need to pretend that the, you're on a cruise ship and you need to present to everyone in the gallery to the side you need to be very vocal you need to just have lots of confidence so basically yeah and I had a quiz which had Blimmin Macaulay Colclit, Colt, you know the guy from Home Alone. Yeah, and I can't say his voice, his uh, name for uh, not very easily. So I kind of struggled with that, but on when I had to do it, I did it, so that's okay. Um, yeah, so basically we had to do that, and then we had to. What do we have to do after that? We had to, then we had our interviews, yes, then we had our interviews. So that was about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes each, so it wasn't too bad. So generally, all you need to do for this audition is basically believe in yourself, you can do it. Anyone can do it, there is loads of different range of people there, young, old, experienced, not experienced. Um, you generally, it's generally just having a laugh, showing that you can do it. Um, remember to project your voice. Um, always seem friendly, be open, use hand gestures, maybe not too much of the time, but um, be engaging, try and put a bit of humour into your presentations, and just don't panic, just be yourself and you'll be fine. If you are thinking of auditioning for this role, then good luck to you, all the best. I still haven't heard whether I've got it or not, so, you know, at least I'll give it a try anyway, whatever happens. Um, yeah, and I hope this video helped. So just be yourself, be confident, be strong, add a bit of humour, and have a good time, basically. Enjoy yourself. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Bye. Peace out.